I've been asked to create an eyeshadow tutorial for smaller eyes and the other day I was cleaning out my kit and I came across these rusty golden sort of pewtery colour so I thought I'll combine the two into a tutorial. So what I'm going to do is um, try to make my eye look smaller than it is in order to sort of carry out the look. Now all the products I'm using I'm listing um, for your ease but essentially what I'm going to do is try and um, etch out a new smaller um, moving eyelid and then I'm going to try and hide my crease by highlighting it and make it more bulged out the way I see um, smaller eyes for the person that I'm thinking of um, she doesn't sort of she has slightly um, hooded I guess I it's not ex it's not 100% hooded it kind of so, sort of is highlighted at the top a little bit kind of comes out so I, I've highlighted that bit above the crease um, so that it looks like it's a smaller eye but then of course I've got all this space above my brow which doesn't look natural to the actual look but you'll see what I mean as it progresses um, but again for a smaller eye you can still do a funky glittery look which she short, thought she couldn't um, and, and she very well can because I've done it for her a few times um, if you were doing this with eyes like mine you know or any other shaped eyes then just modify it to suit um, for my I, I would like to have carried this up higher um, and well into the crease and above the brow bone. So this is what I mean by um, highlighting with Omega um, just above or the, the sort of purple there. I hope I'm making sense. Um, I don't sound like I'm making sense, but um, you know, you'll get to see sort of how this looks afterwards. Now I'm skipping over the whole foundation correct a bit because it did get a bit crazy. I wanted this completely flawless to finish off the rest of the look. Um, and then I'm mattifying it down completely with this mattifying powder from Inglot. It's one of my must have products in my kit. And then I'm using the contour blush just to sort of etch out. Now this whole look is quite wintry for me. Wintry berry, I just bought the whole Kylie palette and so I'm feeling very berry, very red at the moment. And then I went to Inglot this morning and I bought some more berry and rusty and brick colours. So I think I'm going to just do these for a little while. I certainly do love red eyeshadows and berry eyeshadows always have. So for me this is, you know, the time um, to do them because they're so in and so hot right now. So I'm going to warm this up with um, a red blush um, but before I do that <laughs> this is me trying to make my eye appear smaller. I'm coming in and, and contouring within the eye as well. I don't know if I'm getting it right it's just I wasn't even had my thinking hat on properly today. I just wanted to get the look done. I'm absolutely loving this blush just taking a little bit. This is a bright bright red blush so just taking a little bit I'm really working that through the cheekbone there. My brows at the moment are um, in the midst of a reshape. I just, just, just realized that this one is just um, higher than the other ones. I'm trying to rebalance them a little bit more than they, than they were before. So just ignore that for the moment. Um, <laughs> hopefully within a couple of weeks they should be looking a lot, lot better. So if you get glitter everywhere when you're doing this, um, just use a bit of tape. Off camera, I cleaned up a lot of glitter. I used Duraline, but I, um, it, it, you know, I did get glitter all over my cheeks. Oh, I'm absolutely loving this um, discontinued Mac uh, Pro Long Wear, but I'm holding on to mine for as long as possible. Night Moth pencil is um, just such a divine, divine color. Really hope you like this look. Please do rate, subscribe, and comment it means the world to me. Um, and do suggest any ideas for any other new tutorials and I'll see you guys very soon. Take care. Bye. Oh, if you wanted to see some unboxing, then please do follow me on my Snapchats and other social media. Bye.